Welcome back. Well, don't feed the ducks or for that matter, any other wild animals. So Las Vegas right now reinforcing its rules for city parks and you might even get fined. 13 Action News anchor Ross DiMatteo joins us live now with why this is so problematic for our parks. Ross. Yeah, Trisha and Todd, I know it seems harmless, but feeding the birds actually creates a whole cycle of problems at our local parks. And back in November, City Council actually passed an ordinance making it illegal to feed any wildlife at our city parks. And now here we are three months later, and the city says it may have to start enforcing it. There's a growing problem at city parks. No, not the birds themselves, but the fact that people won't stop feeding them. We quite honestly we received a lot of complaints from the community who are going out to use two parks in particular, uh, Lorenzi and Floyd Lamb, and the overpopulation of waterfowl at those parks. Specifically ducks and geese. Greg Weitzel with the city's Parks and Rec Department says there are two big problems with feeding waterfowl. First, the flocks become too big and they never leave. We think we're doing a good thing, but it, you know, what happens is when you feed them, they don't migrate. When they don't migrate, it becomes an overpopulation issue. And then when there, there's too many geese or ducks in one park, you can imagine the mess they leave behind. And that brings us to the second problem. Too many birds means a ton of duck dung and goose poop, which is bad for nearby bodies of water. You can see the ponds end up turning super green and mucky and no fish can live in there. Nothing can live in there because of the amount of feces and waste that's being deposited into the waterways and it's just too much to handle. It's also bad for anyone who happens to step in it. When we have a lot of geese and ducks and feces around the parks and kids, you can imagine those two don't mix well. There's lots of diseases in the waste and the kids can get that. Uh, anybody can get it. As a matter of fact, what happens is you walk on it and then you go home and you put it on your shoes, you walk in your house and now you have salmonella, and many other diseases that the waterfowls carry in their feces. Weitzel says the city isn't trying to ruin anyone's relaxing day at the park, just trying to keep them clean and healthy for humans and animals alike. We want people to understand that the wildlife are going to be okay. They're grazers. They will graze on grass. They will fly and find another place to, to get their food. We don't need to feed them, but we can enjoy them and, and, and enjoy looking at them and watching them. Uh, but we don't want you to interact, and we prefer you please do not feed the wildlife. And there is a potential price to pay here. You could be fined up to $10 if you're caught feeding any of the wildlife at city parks. And the city says they haven't had to find anyone. They don't want to find anyone. But if the problem doesn't improve, they really have no choice. We're live off the Las Vegas Strip tonight. Ross DiMatte, 13 Action News. Yeah, some folks think they're doing a good thing, yeah. and it's really not. No, at all. it's never pleasant when you go to those parks, and sometimes they're just uh, feces everywhere. It's, Absolutely. Yeah. All right.